What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Tim and Ferguson on the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins acquiring David Perron from the Edmonton Oilers in exchange for uh, Rob Glenkammer and a uh, first round pick. I mean, Edmonton's obviously in the middle of a fire sale. The Perron deal, as far as I'm concerned, is the tip of the iceberg. Um, I really like what he brings to the table for Pittsburgh. You know, a lot of offense and creativity, and, you know, not exactly the biggest. Um, you know, the biggest name out there, you know, the most skilled off, you know, all around, you know, Jordan Everly type, but, you know, gives you gives you some offense. I think he'll be a good fit next to Crosby or Morgan on the left wing. He plays the offside, which I think is beneficial. You know, those guys cheer you up one time is pretty easily, so, um, you know, I think I, I'm not much of a fantasy hockey guy, but I'd definitely go out and grab him because any time a forward gets on that line, and I think he's probably, you know, the most creative forward to end up on, with either one of them in a while. I'm assuming he'll play with Crosby off the bat. Don't totally know for sure, though, so, you know, don't quote me on that. But, again, you know, I think Pittsburgh's going all in to win it this year. It reminds me a lot of the 2013 season where they, uh, you know, gave up a lot to get Morrow, to get Douglas Morrow, you know, obviously they get a Gimla. Uh, I know it, it didn't end the way they wanted it to, but, you know, I, I think they're going to – this isn't the last move they'll make. And I think Perron is a good, um, you know, compliment, complimentary forward to uh, try to track out with those guys. I mean, you know, you're not going to use him. You know, it's not he's not like he's Marion Hauser or, you know, again, like a couple years ago. But, you know, he can definitely be benefited. Um, definitely benefit. Be benefited. Jesus. It's like, guys, um, from playing alongside those guys. I mean, I think any player would, to be honest with you. But I think Perron's skill set can work well uh, with either one. But I, if I was betting, I'd put him next to Crosby. And, uh, you know, I think Sid will... Uh, Enjoy passing the puck and you know, having some really, really good two on ones going down the ice. But, you know, for Edmonton's thing, uh, getting that second first round pick is big. You know, it's such a deep draft. Now, if Pittsburgh picks 30th, you know, wins the Stanley Cup, well, then, eh. But that's, um, yeah, I've seen the handle there. I mean, getting Clint Cameron, you know, this is a borderline in the NHL. Um, you flip him for another pick. I mean, I don't think he's the worst player in the NHL. Uh, he's been traded twice in a month, so from Phoenix to Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh to to Edmonton, so 139 games in the show. You know, again, nice depth forward. I think he'll probably get moved again though, so don't be too used to him there in Edmonton. But bottom line, like the like Perron with Pittsburgh, I think it was smart for Edmonton to get a uh, another first round pick. And, uh, you know, I think the fire sale is, you know, going to really be hitting full stride when we get eight weeks of the deadline. There will be, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit around and speculate, you know, Yakubov, yeah, Hall, I believe whoever gets traded, but, you know, David Perron will not be the last Edmonton Oil to trade in the next few weeks. That much, I can guarantee it. Take that to the bank. That's as safe a statement saying the sun will come up tomorrow. So, anyway, that's like sort of the power play with CJ on uh, David Perron to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Stay tuned for episodes with the season. And beyond. Later, guys.